One of the things we knew coming out of the gate with Gears 3 is that we wanted to make the best version of our multiplayer that we had. It's taking it to its max. Like, the thing for us is we've had the most time to polish that we've ever had. This is that extra 10%. It's the biggest campaign we've ever had. It's got Horde and Beast and competitive multiplayer, and it's gonna be the best multiplayer we've ever had. The most polished, best Gears game that Epic has ever made. Day one, it's hard to ship an online game, and by having dedicated servers and a beta, we're doing a darn good job of making sure we hit it right day one. ask me all the time, is Gears 3 going to play like Gears 1 or is it going to play like Gears 2? Gears 3 is going to play like Gears 3. Gears 1 was really fast and we slowed down Gears 2 a little bit in terms of trying to, again, to make it more accessible. And we felt like, it, you know, I think a lot of feedback we've gotten from players is that we felt like they, the pendulum swung too far. And so we've found this middle ground. But I think we found the sweet spot. One of the new multiplayer modes that we're featuring in Gears of War 3 is Team Deathmatch, which has been in other games before, but is new to the franchise. And we don't just want to cram it in there as you've seen it, we want to put a gear spin on it. So it's actually a pool of lives that each team has. You take out a bad guy, you're taking away from their pool, ultimately resulting in them running out of lives. Five, four, three, two, one. Game on, baby. As people are getting eliminated, it gets down to three on one. And that one guy can be clutch and take out those last three and win the match, at which point everybody explodes in laughter. Who's next? Now that we're at the third game in the series, we can have some of these unlocks that allow us to play with the formula a little bit. People don't necessarily want to just uh, represent themselves in a fiction, you know, appropriate way. Uh, you know, the fact that there, people want to have a pink lancer, you know, and they want to shoot people with a pink lancer because they think it's funny or whatever it may be. One of the incredible benefits of being able to do a beta for this multiplayer is that it's going to allow us to polish the entire multiplayer experience. We have put so many hooks in this game to know how many people are being hit with which weapon? Which weapon's doing the most damage? Who's being downed on which part of the map? Who's being executed? Are people executing? All the stuff is being compiled in the back end so we can look at that and make a proper decision about how to balance the full game.